Um, today I'll talk about the development of motion control system um, of uh, the M. As a project of NEDO, uh, we've been developing control systems for dual arm robots since last October. Uh, I will introduce the target platform, an overview of the control system, then talk about the basic philosophy of our system. The bulk of my talk will be about how to implement LTC on our system. So uh, I just want to uh, give you the convenient environment to develop the software for robot on our play of uh, the M. <coughs> And this is a target platform, dual arm robot hero. He has 23 degrees of freedom in total, and two in head, and one in waist, and six in each arm, and four in each hand. Installed for USB cameras, two on head, and two on each hand. Hero has been released from Kawada Industries in cooperation as next stage. This is a system overview. Um, the full system for Hero is to look to, uh, like this, and uh, all of the real-time <coughs> components have the same basic structure and pass the same data through the data ports. And it, uh, yeah, the real-time components are grouped together and can be seen as one composite component. The composite components are again spread into two groups based on the way they computed. The, their output, compute their output. Uh, this would be too complex to use as an example here, so we will simplify this. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, sorry. Uh, this is a simplified version of our controller. The robot hardware component is responsible for calibrations, sub switching, and emergency sub stop. All control commands to the robot and all current joint angle data go through this component. The sequence player, the sequence player can accept files with joint trajectory data and feed that, or it can in interpolate. Interpret to the specified joint angles. The data logger keeps the link buffer log of the data being sent through the data port. All the components have color-based uh, service ports that are... Oh, sorry. Uh, to, con uh, to communicate from the external client. In creating the control, we set some basic ideas so that development could go smoothly. They were binary compatibility between the simulation and ro actual robot. If they use the same OS, is also important. The main function is psychological help for the developer. If they use the same component, they will have less to worry about when trouble happens. Use a common component structure for the RTCs. I'm sorry. <coughs> the data <coughs> that is sent through the RTC data ports is also the same for all components for control the motions. This allows us to use a common base class from which we can implement the individual components. This hopefully will be, use, uh, will, will be useful for people new to implementing their own components. We hope it will make things easier by showing the developer what functions need to be implemented. A scripting interface is very important. Uh, is it especially important when you have to quick, quickly make a demonstration in a short amount of time? We have focused on using Python and will continue to do so. Other scripting language can be used if they have a call interface, any language. And the first, binary compatibility. 
uh, uh, the robot hardware component is the only one communicating with the uh, actual hardware. All the other components will be binary compatible provided. They don't they, uh, provide it. They don't do direct access to the hardware. The hardware interface on the robot hardware component component together with the sub simulation mimics <coughs> and OpenHLP controller. This makes the full controller pluggable with OpenHLP and therefore makes simulation possible. Taking this structure also makes it possible to support multiple robots with basically the same structure. The open HLP library is a model based so if you keep special hardware requirements in one place, the main bulk of the software will adopt to the da data held within the model file. Open HLP related information will be shown in the next presentation by Saito. The data being sent through the data ports is shown here. This data includes timing, timing needed to check to command arbitrations and joint angles. The data most people will be using would be the joint angles data. And here, this is the joint angle uh, joint command. The joint angles are sequence of sequences because they are grouped by the body part, like a our arm and left arm and body or head. This is to make it easier to check what part a controller is trying to affect. And uh, service port interface to communicate from external clients such as Python script, you need to add a service port. First, first define the interface as ideal. Um, second, generate the template code by IDEA compiler. Implement the service functions and compile all of them and incorporate into the RTCs. Then you can send message to the RTC by Python scripts through the service port. Python scripts initialize the control system and get the reference of service port using RTC manager then you can control the everything in the inside of the system. Um, this is the cross structure of RTC implemented for, your, for our system. If you implement some uh, sample This, uh, uh, every component uh, success the HLP RTC base class. And, oh, you know. and uh, if the UI logic is reusable, um, separate the as a sample core class. And the base class will show how to load a robot model which contains joint configurations, joint limits, and the outer shape of the robot. Combining the model with the OpenHLP libraries allow you to perform inverse and forward kinematics and get the point positions and the attitude. There will be more information about this is also in the next presentation. You currently have to set up the mapping between the parts and the actual joint. There will be more information about also uh, in the next presentation. Uh, you can get the sample code from the Google code and we are preparing to uh, put some samples in it, on it. And first, your, your first component, you will fix 
uh, modify that this, these two functions on initialize and on execute. And on initialize, uh, the the things uh, as I said uh, initialized. And the please put some uh, in initialization codes here. And on execute is a cyclic code, cyclic cyclic executed uh, functions and uh, yeah, please main process implement here. Does it finish? Uh, to, compi to, to compile, uh, we can use a CMake, and then we also provide the samples. And a few things to change in the CMake files. You just uh, change out uh, the component name and add your code and uh, your library. It's very easy to build. So you are ready to go to, uh, you ready to execute on the simulation or a real robot. Summary, we, uh, we introduced the robot control system for dual one for Robot Hero. We separate common functions as superclass for motion control RTC to create RTC easily for user. You can get them from Google code soon. Uh, latest information is available from Google Groups for pair open LTM. Thank you. Uh, I have uh, some demonstration, but <laughs> I have uh, a problem with my machine. I can I don't know, I can get. Any questions? Sorry. I, I need to talk.